So, hello again. This is time to start our process on making the sound words for these two oods. Uh, if you follow and uh, watch my recent videos, you probably know that uh, I start building two oods at the same time. Both oods are made of walnut wood uh, for the ball, for the peg box, and the neck. I tried my best to keep these two oods uh, in a very, very close same size and uh, from the same tree, same wood. And my focus is on the soundboards that I want to use a German spruce for one and Canadian red cedar on another one uh, to, to see how these two type of woods, the very famous one that most probably most of the luthiers use these two uh, kind of woods for making their woods. Mm. So I want to see differences between the sound and this is a experimental personal way of testing that I want to test and analyze my woods and see the results at the end of the process using the headphone because otherwise you cannot hear the sound of tapping the, the woods um, by normal speakers like mobile phone or laptop so please take your headphones on and I want to share the process of making the soundboard in uh, some different episodes so please follow up and uh, watch the videos in a series to see how i made i, I will making the soundboard also um, hopefully have a very beautiful sound on the finished woods to see how these uh, soundboards are sound are singing for us so let's start our analyzing on these woods so I got a pair of German spruce wood. This spruce that I got here doesn't have that very narrow close lines on the grains, but uh, I like to use it and see how it sounds. Also, I got another pair of uh, red cedar here. This red cedar is a very good quality red cedar that I got. I will share uh, my tuner with you during the process. Uh, about the thickness, um, this a spruce wood uh, is around 7 millimeter, 6.5 millimeter thickness all over the board from 6 to 6 to 6.5. Uh, another pair is same. Yeah. And the Canadian red cedars are 4 to 4.5, I think. This one is close to 5 millimeter right now. What we can do with this pair of wood right now in this thickness is to hear them and observe them, observe the change of these woods during the process when we make them thin and when we put it on the instrument. So let's start with the German spruce. I will tap this German spruce. I will hold this piece of wood very, very uh, loose. So the German spruce with six millimeter thickness with a knot here. So it's, it's around C sharp. This one, the right side. So the left side, the right side is uh, very close to C. Right now it does not have that uh, very good vibration based on my experience between the spruce that I got before. Um, but let's see how Canadian red cedar could sound on the left side. Wow. So the tune is D, but the quality of the sound, if you could hear it from the microphone, the, the sound, the vibration, in comparison with the other cedar wood that I test before, vibration is very nice, but the sound is kind of very stiff. It keeps the sound inside. It does not vibrate that much. So let's see the right part, right side. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was C sharp. This one was B. Perfect B. So right now we got a C sharp here on the right side, a D on the left side. As you see, um, the vibration and the feedback of the German spurs in this in this thickness is um, very very less than Canadian red cedar. Most of the time, the red cedar woods have a very beautiful white vibration, even when they are very thick. But when we make them thinner, when we reach to the final thickness that we got, also after bracing the soundboard. It's totally different, you know, and the German spruce, this German spruce that doesn't vibrate right now, when it comes to a soundboard, when it becomes a soundboard, you hear a very beautiful sound out of this. So, so what I found from my works by tapping them is the, uh, I got a very, very good vibrate, uh, but not that loose vibration and very wide sound from uh, um, this Canadian red cedar is a little bit stiff uh, in comparison with the other kind of uh, Canadian red cedar that I got before. So I have D tuning on this uh, piece and this on the left side of this soundboard and the C sharp. It's very close to each other. Uh, sometimes I expect a very different, with different notations and a very different uh, frequency between each side, but these are very close to, get to each other. Uh, also, I got uh, C to C sharp on the left side of this German spruce, and between B to C on this side. Uh, these are so are very close. Mm, the vibration of the wood is very very few, so. Uh, I have to see it, I have, and I have to check after removing these two nuts on the board, uh, these two nuts on the board to see how the nuts can be affected, the vibration and the sound. Mm, but right now, I don't uh, see that much vibration from this German spruce. So uh, this is it. Um, my test is right now is done. Um, I just do some few more taps to hear the sound again from the switch and I will start uh, matching and gluing this two piece together to start the process of making our soundboard. Thank you for watching.